He was born in a place of unimaginable death and suffering. A survivor who eventually went on to save lives in his career as a physician right here in Madison. Joining us now is Dr. Mark Olsky, who was born on a freight train headed into a Nazi concentration camp, and author Wendy Holden, who chronicles the incredible stories of Mark's mother and two other Jewish mothers who gave birth to babies in or near concentration camps. The book is called Born Survivors, Three Young Mothers and Their Extraordinary Story of Courage, Defiance, and Hope, and it's now out in paperback. Mark, this is a remarkable story. Notorious um, angel of death, Dr. Yosef Mengele, uh, uh, the first time that, that you avoided fate, uh, he posed a question to your mother, who was uh, about a month or two along with you right. in her pregnancy. What did he say to her? And he said, um, are you pregnant, uh, pretty lady, or elegant lady? Um, and uh, he looked at her and uh, she thought and said no. And that was a good answer. Wise answer because she would have been she would put have been, to death. Right. Yeah, and so then she went on uh, a few months later and gave birth to you on a train headed for Mauthausen concentration camp in right. Austria, right? You're a father, you're a doctor, can you imagine what that was like for her. There were d dead bodies lying around and some there, dying there, people. There were. There were about a hundred women in that one uh, open car. Um, and uh, it wasn't really till many years later that I started to, uh, to think about it. In fact, when I was uh, about six or seven years old, the first time that my mother said anything, she said, uh, you were born on a train. And I was thinking, cool, train. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we didn't go into details, and I didn't ask about the details. Um, and like most uh, survivors, she just didn't talk that much about mm -hmm. her experience. It really wasn't the thought, and in her thought, it wasn't a triumph. She lost five, uh, She lost four of her uh, eight siblings. We're going to put up this photo of uh, an American soldier, a GI, a sergeant from Illinois, who liberated your camp, and he's on the tank, and, and we see some of the, the survivors there around him. When you look at that photo, what does that mean to you to see that? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Because, well, first of all, my mother, when she did talk about the end of the war and how it came that uh, uh, we were liberated. She said when the Americans came, it was as if a light just was turned on in a dark room. And Wendy, when you see that photo of, uh, of the sergeant surrounded by all of the survivors, what does it mean to you? Well, having charted the mother's journeys right from their earliest days, right up mm -hmm. until that death camp and the accident of timing that saved their lives, to see those pictures of those American GIs coming through the gates and saving them is extraordinary and one of the greatest privileges of my entire um, research period with this book was introducing the three surviving babies mm -hmm. to the two sons of uh, Albert Kosiek, mm -hmm. the young 26 year old Illinois GI who, who liberated the camp and that was a wonderful moment and they were finally able to connect and mm -hmm. now we've become one big, part, big family which is fantastic. That is fantastic. So what inspired you to write the book? I read something late at night online about a woman who died who'd been in Auschwitz who'd had a baby there and it occurred to me I'd never read anything before about babies who'd survived the Holocaust and then I thought mm -hmm. well of course I haven't they can't have been mm -hmm. and, and I did some further research and came across Eva in England and she told me about Mark and Hannah and how they'd reconnected age 65 and I decided to put all three stories together because you can't identify with six million but you can identify with three young mothers that's really an excellent way to put it yeah in in this book is is very powerful you can find out more information about Wendy and her book I put a link to her website up under news links at NBC 15.com. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you for Thank having you. us.